Today is Monday the 11th of April, and this week on Battle Drill Devotional, as we journey through Holy Week, we focus again on what Jesus' journey to the cross means for us, and how we can carry this good news to the world. Our passage for today is Matthew chapter 27, verses 27 to 31. The soldiers mock Jesus. Some of the governor's soldiers took Jesus into their headquarters and called out the entire regiment. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. They wove thorn branches into a crown and put it on his head, and they placed a reed stick in his right hand as a scepter. Then they knelt before him in mockery and taunted, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spit on him and grabbed the stick and struck him on the head with it. When they were finally tired of mocking him, they took off the robe and put his own clothes on him again. Then they led him away to be crucified. Amen. Do you like roses? They're one of my favourite flowers. But I recently heard someone say they didn't like roses, not because of the flowers, but because of the thorns. And it's true that you do need to be careful when you're handling a rose, otherwise you can quickly draw blood. In the Bible, thorns are often used as a metaphor for the consequences of sin and wrongdoing. When Adam and Eve fell into sin, God told them one of the consequences of this would be that the land would forever be cursed with thorns and weeds. Gardeners will testify this curse is still in force today. When God urged Moses and the people of Israel to purge the promised land of its godless people, he warned them that failure to do so would result in them becoming thorns in their sides. Proverbs reminds us that living outside of God's will and purpose for our lives results in a path of thorns and traps. And Paul himself spoke about a thorn in the flesh. When God came to earth in the person of Jesus Christ, he who was boundless chose to be bound by the same things that we are as human beings. Suddenly, he was bound by time. He was bound by location. He was bound by human knowledge. But perhaps most amazing of all, God, in Jesus, chose to be bound by sin for us. Jesus surrendered his sinlessness for us. Jesus chose to share in our shame, fear, disgrace, discouragement and anxiety for us. He became sin for us. He gave up the crown of heaven for a crown of thorns for you and for me. Amazing love. As you reflect on these thoughts today, why not use this question to help you? What thorns have you experienced in your life? And I hope to see you again soon for another battle drill.